After a fault occurs, the referee has to replace the ball or balls affected. This can be a bit of a challenge at first. Diagram 1 shows two white dots representing the uprights of a wicket, along with two blue ball markers accurately placed for the red ball prior to the shot. Diagram 2 shows the lines that run from the ball markers through the middle of the uprights to the center of the ball to ensure that accuracy. Diagram 3 shows where red lands after committing a double tap fault. It takes some practice to replace the ball accurately and in a timely manner. Diagram 4 shows red is lined up with the right side ball marker but not the left marker. Diagram 5 shows the ball marker is now in line with the left marker but not the right. Moving the ball short distances to get it lined up accurately can be challenging and frustrating. With diligent practice it can be mastered though. Diagram 6 shows the ball accurately replaced. As mentioned earlier, here in Diagram 7, having a third marker can expedite correct replacement allowing the referee to jostle the ball short distances to get it in line with the two ball markers on the non-playing side. This third ball marker is not mandatory, but one you may want to experiment with when practicing replacing a ball after a fault. Remember, this third marker needs a non-movable reference point on or off the court. Earlier we saw the peg used for this purpose, and the marker doesn't want to be placed where it might be accidentally moved by the striker's mallet. There are some shots that are blatantly faulty and easy to call as such. These would likely be done by a beginning level player who may not be familiar with mallet faults. Here are some examples that we asked a player to do intentionally. As you saw, very obvious faults. In the case of multiple faults within a shot, it's the first fault that occurs that is called. As easy as it would be for a referee to call these obvious faults, you won't often see obvious faults when experienced players are involved. This video project focuses on shots that are difficult to call. There are several other mallet faults that you need to be aware of. These are listed in the rulebook.